Okay, welcome back. It's Charlie here. Today, I'm going to be building an AI appointment booking bot from complete scratch using Go High Level. I'm in a brand new sub account. Um, it's going to be exciting and you can actually use this in your own agency to book more meetings. So you don't have to manually respond back to leads and prospects, but you can also actually sell this as a service to other business owners. Because, yeah, getting more appointments and using AI is very popular at the moment. So I thought I'd do a live walkthrough step by step and make it just really easy for you to understand. So the first thing you're going to want to do is enable some settings. Now, once you're in high level, basically, you want to switch to the agency view. This is going to allow you to basically yeah, change the settings and to have the right settings. So, yeah, switch to agency view. Once you're here, you need to go to company and you need to enable workflow AI, but also conversational AI. So click it. It's going to ask you to basically confirm, click enable, and now you've got everything set up correctly. Okay, very quickly, I've got a completely free course and free coaching that I'm offering for a limited time only. And to get access, if you don't have high level um, and you're looking to get go high level, then essentially in, the, in my YouTube description, there'll be 14 days completely free. So you can test it out, see if you like it. Um, yeah, just make sure it's my link. And once you've done that, go to agencystart.info and basically you have access to my WhatsApp number, service delivery course, private network, basically everything, so much value for completely free. I'm only offering this to a few spaces. So yeah, if you don't have Go High Level and you're looking to get it, um, then there's no better time to do that now because you get all these things in addition to actually the software uh, access to this while you can. Um, but yeah, use uh, my link, it'll be in the description. And back to the video. You wanna go back into your sub account and I've just created a brand new one to show you how you can do this step by step from scratch. Um, and you basically wanna start with creating a new workflow. So once you click it, it's going to give you templates. Now, obviously, we're going to be doing this from scratch. So just click scratch um, and it's basically going to load you into a um, thingy. And the first thing you're going to want to do is actually rename this so you can keep track of your um, yeah, automations, basically. So just call this um, AI like bot or whatever. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it that. But the first thing you're going to want to do once you're inside the automation and workflow is basically create a, um, a reply channel so we can reply back to or AI more importantly can reply back to Instagram DMs, Facebook DMs, SMS, email, whatever you actually want. So let's do that now. You basically want to go here, scroll down or you can actually search. So let's just search customer replied. As you can see, um, rename this. So let's call this IG um, DM, add filters, go back here, go to reply channel. And then obviously you have a bunch of different options from what the AI can actually respond to. So let's start with Instagram DMs and you're basically going to want to have to create this for each one. So just do the same thing. Um, yeah, customer replied. Let's, for example, let's do SMS now, add filters. Um, well, let's call this SMS, like AI or whatever. Filters, um, reply channel, and then just put SMS, save trigger. Now I've included a few more. So whenever someone messages us on Instagram, SMS, chat widget, email, and you can even actually do a form. So click here, do a form submitted. Um, and yeah, you can literally do the same thing for when someone submits a form, it's going to use AI to try to get them to book a meeting with you. But yeah, essentially, let's carry out the rest of this automation. And so what we're going to do next is create an if or else channel. This is basically a condition. So once someone um, replies or sends us a message on Instagram, SMS, chat widget or email, and even you can do more just up to you. But essentially, we're going to go here, click if else. Um, now we're going to create a bunch of different branches. Um, so the first one, let's do SMS, go down here, click on workflow trigger, go here, go is, and then essentially we'll choose the one we want. So SMS, and then you're going to create another branch. You're basically going to put, um, let's do IGTM now, go here to the same thing, workflow trigger, click is, and then click IGTM. Next one, um, let's call this email. So whenever we get an email, um, it's going to go to workflow trigger is and then email. I think you get the point now. So now once you've done that, it should look like this. And the next step is to actually include a prompt into chat GPT. So when um, we want to send the message automated, then sort of chat GPT knows what to say. So we need to give it some information. Um, but yeah, it should look like this. And then essentially you want to go here, click chat GPT and you need to insert a prompt. This is my prompt as an example. I said you are an AI appointment booking bot for Charlie and your job is to get the prospect onto a free demo call for Cab Media, my agency. Um, and you could say my your, what your agency provides. So I said automations, content, AI, and appointment setting for online coaches. Obviously change this to your certain niche, but yeah, you wanna say you are, uh, should be a friendly and humorous or kind assistant for my agency 
and your job is to get the person on a call using this link. So you go here, you click, uh, and you go to your calendar and you basically insert the calendar link. Um, and then also what you should include is you should say that you must keep each response under 45 words and always respond to um, the prospects by using their first name to go contact first name, as you can see here. Um, and basically the AI bot will implement their first name when speaking to them so it seems more personal and then combine that with the response being under 45 words um, that will make it look a lot more like um, common as like an actual conversation instead of like AI putting out a massive paragraph which I see quite commonly so yeah we definitely want to keep each response under 45 words and basically save that action next what you're going to do is you're going to want to obviously get it to actually send um, an SMS so you can do that by clicking this go to SMS um, and then once that loads, you basically select template. You don't need a template, you can put whatever you want in here, but you can do custom values, go to ChatGPT and put um, hashtag one, send a prompt to ChatGPT and get um, AI to get a response. So click that, click um, response and then save that. And basically you're gonna to wanna to do that for every single one. So once you've done it for all the ones, it should look like this. Obviously mine says five, six and seven, yours should be one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, and obviously like that. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you wanna add a um, response. So for example, for this, you wanna do basically send SMS. So you'd go here, you do custom values, um, chat GPT. Yeah, and put one and then put response. Um, click save. And then you'd go to this one, do the exact same thing. Um, but for this one, it'd be IGDM. So you'd go here and you click Instagram DM. You go to custom values, go to chat GPT. And then, yeah, just make sure that it's the number is the same one and then response and then save that. And you should basically do this for all of them. Um, I'm just gonna do it really quickly. Um, mess that one up, but this one should be email. So send email. Um, obviously do what you want, but custom values, go to chat GPT, same thing. Make sure it's six, which it is, response, um, save action, and put the subject line. It can be whatever you want. Um, yeah, put that. Now, once you've done that for every single one, um, basically, let's just use this one as an example. You're gonna go here, and you basically wanna, wanna now let it wait so the prospect can actually respond. Um, so yeah, you'd click wait, click on this, um, you can do wait until um, contact replied. You can do SMS and then basically save action. And obviously if you want more details, you can go here, you can click timeout and you can put certain amount of time you want it to actually delay the message before it does the next step. But let's not use that. Let's just go through the uh, this one. And now once the prospect has replied or hasn't replied, we need to get AI to do certain different things. So let's go here and let's, once again, let's create a condition. So if or else, Basically, you're going to do if customer replied. So if customer uh, replied equals equals true. So let's say they did reply. You'd basically go here, go to contact replied, go to yeah, click that and then go true. And then you're going to create another branch and do this. But let's do it for false. So this is if a prospect doesn't respond to the initial um, message. So let's do that. Yeah, contact replied, contact replied. Uh, false and click save now um, yeah it's going to do different things for if they reply or if it didn't reply and essentially if they didn't reply then we're going to want to do follow-up so let's do that now now we're going to want to create different workflows for if the prospect responds or if they don't respond so let's do um, if customer applied equals true first so let's click on that um, now let's go to chat GPT we want to give it a prompt you want to do a similar prompt to what you did before So insert a similar prompt, but however, now you want to basically say that they responded um, using this body. Um, let's go here. Let's go to message, message body. So now it's used the message they already sent you. Um, and then you're going to say um, to chat GPT, make sure to book them in for an appointment using my Calendly calendar above. Click save. Once you've done that, you basically wanna create an SMS to actually send the message. So go here, 
go to send SMS. Likewise, you would change this. If it's an Instagram DM, you just put um, Instagram DM, email, email. I think you get the point now. Um, but yeah, you basically just repeat this for all the other ones. But I'm not going to do that because it'll be an insanely long video. Um, but essentially, you go here, custom values, uh, chat GPT, and then just make sure that it's the same one that you um, had before. So it's number nine, so we would click nine and click response and then click save. But now you basically want to wait. Um, so once you send the SMS, click wait. Go here. If you can see, um, yeah, time delay, you can change this to, um, yeah, do this. SMS. And then you can just put like 30 minutes. Doesn't even matter. 30 minutes, click save. Um, and then essentially what you want to do is you want to create a... Um, a loop so now I'll click go to um, here we are go to basically uh, click if I can actually do this um, let me go back go here click go to I messed it up a bit but I think you get the point yeah click here and basically just loop it back up to this one and then click save at the top um, and now we need to basically do the same for if a customer doesn't respond. So we can do a similar thing. We need to get it to wait, obviously. So wait, um, let's put like, I don't know, it can really depend. Let's put 10 hours. So if they didn't respond after 10 hours, then what's going to happen is we're going to create a, um, a short follow-up message. You go here, chat GBT, insert a prompt. You can say the prospect hasn't responded to the sms yet please send a short follow-up message to get them to reply and obviously changes to whatever you want go boom click here click wait let's wait uh 30 minutes save action and then just create an sms send sms Go here, custom values, chat GPT, and then go for 10, response, save. Now we are almost done. So what you're gonna do is if they don't respond to this, we're gonna need to create more conditions to basically, yeah, end this once and for all. And now they're in this sort of like um, contraption of like an automation, they're not gonna get out. Either, they, either they're gonna book a call or they're yeah gonna block you. Hopefully they book a call though. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a condition. Um, so that's once again, if else. So if else, we want to create a branch. So let's do, um, yeah, if customer replied equals true. Let's go for uh, contact replied, contact replied, true. And then let's create another branch, do the same thing here. But this one's going to be false. And essentially what we're going to do next is we're going to create a go to. So if they do respond, they'll do one action. And if they don't respond, it'll do another one um, to basically get them interested again. So go here and then click false, save that. So now obviously this looks mad confusing. There's like a ton of different things. And obviously you need to do this for each one. Um, but now you figured out how to do it for one. It's like really easy. And essentially we just want to create a go to now. So if the customer replied, um, then essentially we want it to go to this one so let's just click here let's click go to um, click save so it starts here and essentially you want to get it to go to here so it goes down this one so you just click that so as you can see um, if they respond it goes to this one um, and if they don't respond then you want to do the same thing go to click save and you basically want to put it um, to here so the customer hasn't responded yet so essentially, yeah, let me just click this. So boom, um, boom. So now you've got like a contraption of, yeah, they're, they're not getting out of this. Either they're booking a call or they aren't booking a call, um, but at least like the emotions are remo uh, removed. So you don't actually have to do follow-ups. And once again, you can do this for your own agency or you can actually do this for a business for them so they don't have to manually respond to leads all the time. What you want to do next is you want to do this. So just repeat this um, for all of these ones and then it will basically work. So no matter what you get, whether it's an SMS, IGTM, 
um, yeah, email, chat widget, it doesn't really matter, form submitted, you can create this now and now you have the knowledge to basically do that. And yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. Now I've got a special announcement um, earlier in the video, I did a quick um, intro to this, but essentially if you want free coaching, um, as you can see here, free one-to-one -one coaching via my personal WhatsApp, you want a free service delivery course, you want a private network, basically the value is insane in this and all you have to do is just sign up um, for go high level using my affiliate link it'll be in the YouTube description like the video comment and subscribe if you've you know reached to this point because well done um, you've probably got a good attention span um, so yeah I'll catch you in the next video have an amazing day peace